have lost on the law. For I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. With your spirit. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Herman Guido Fernandez, and especially Ashura prayerful condolences to Antoinette, his wife, and Rogana and Keegan, his children. We are with them as a parish community. Pray for them at this very, very difficult time. We also pray for all of you, the members of our parish, that the Lord may be with you all and continue to strengthen you. The Lord in the first reading tells us all that He is our God and we are His people. And He guards us just as a shepherd would guard His sheep. We thank the Lord for His powerful protection and we ask Him that we may become aware that we belong to Him and so there is nothing to fear. And we also ask the Lord for this particular grace as we are going to step into the Holy Week. We may turn our attention fully to the passion of the Lord, that the Lord may inspire us to walk side by side with Him. For those moments of our failures to realize that we are God's loving children, we feel sorry and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, the last blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen grace and royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their soul. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel, and one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have guilty of. I shall cleanse them. 
thy servant David will reign over them, one shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws, and practice them. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it, they, their children, their children's children, forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase them. I shall settle my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel. When my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will scream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us, the shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for them. The Lord will guard us as shepherd guards his flock. Please stand to greet the gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to tell the Pharisees what he had done. Then the chief priests and Pharisees called a meeting. Here is this man working all these signs, they said. And what action are we taking? If we let him go on in, on in this way, everybody will believe in him. And the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest, that year said, you don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. 
You faithfully see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was a high priest that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation. And not for the nation only, but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day, they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about only among the Jews, but left the district for a town called Ephraim in the country bordering on the desert, and stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near, and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus saying to one another as they stood about in the temple, What do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord of Jesus Christ. Jesus our Lord was to die in order to bring together the scattered children of God. Just as the shepherd would give his life for the sake of the flock to bring the flock in unity, the Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is ready to lay down his life for the sake of bringing the scattered children of God together. It is this unity, my dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord wants us all to celebrate during this time. All of us are divided in many ways now. We are disconnected in a way. Obviously, the church is empty. The place where we all gather together is empty. However, we are all gathered together as faithful children of God, united in spirit in our hearts. And this unity we celebrate, though we are disconnected in different ways, we are connected in the Lord. And this connection, knowing well that He is our God and we are His people, calls us all the more to celebrate unity in the moment of this kind of distress wherein we are disconnected to one another. And we are going to get into a very, very special season. A time to remember, to journey with the Lord Jesus during His Passion. It is truly a moment of special grace where all of us come together in unity and celebrate the big passion of our Lord and we ask the Lord for His blessings during this Special 
special love of God the Father. We read in the first reading today from the book of Ezekiel, saying that He will be our God and will be His people, calls us all the more to deepen our relationship with the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, we ask the Lord during this holy Eucharist today that we prepare ourselves worthily to enter into the coming days to journey to the suffering Christ, Christ our Lord, who is journeying with the suffering world today. Blessed are our God of our creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Blessed are your God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed are God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good and holy souls. Thank you. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Make holy day so deep in the spring by sending down the spirit upon the living God, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was prepared and let him fill him with his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We open your temple, Lord, and confess your words of resurrection until you come again. They Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the 
power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us joyfully offer each other the sign of peace. Friends, there are times when people are able to receive the body and blood of Christ through illness or due to their personal disposition. Even though some may not receive sacramental communion, all are united by the Holy Spirit. The traditional idea of spiritual communion is an important one to remember and reaffirm at this time. A deep spiritual communion is possible even when we do not share together the sacrament of the body and blood of Christ. As I recite this prayer, make this your will to welcome the Lord Jesus in your heart. My Jesus, I believe in your presence and this holy sacrament of 
Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us this sacrament, which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life of love.